Now the Independent Electoral Commission will conduct voter registration this weekend. It's an opportunity for young voters to register and participate in next year's polls. With the election around the corner, political parties are in full swing with their campaigns to woo voters, in particular those who will uh, be casting their ballots for the first time. Action SA KZN Chairperson Zwagele Mwango is candidate for Premier in what will be a hotly contested province. Let's uh, get his views on the upcoming fight between his party, the ANC, and a resurgent IFP. Mr. Mlango, thank you very much for your time. Uh, we saw the announcement yesterday that you would be Action SA's premier candidate for KZN. Uh, just tell us, first of all, what your plans are for a province that, uh, for instance, is still, you know, suffering from not only the July unrest the year before, but last year's April floods. Things are still uh, quite, a t quite, quite tacky, rather. Yeah, thank you, Master, and greetings mm. to the viewers of in, uh, I must say, uh, yes, uh, our province has lots of challenges, but one strongly believe that none of these challenges can be fixed as long as we get the right leadership uh, with ethics and integrity. We mm -hmm. believe that if we have vision as leadership, we can fix challenges like the issue of quality education in our province. There's still a huge gap between those who stay in rural areas and townships and those in urban areas, especially in private schools. So we believe we must bridge the gap so that you can really empower our young people. But as well, the issue of healthcare system is a huge gap when you look at someone who goes to a clinic in a rural area and someone who goes to a, a clinic in an urban area. Uh, you'll find that in a, in a private uh, clinic, you get a, a quick service. But when you go to a, a public hospital or clinic, you will never get a proper services. We are saying uh, when you get to power, we'll ensure that uh, we, we provide more stuff for education and healthcare system. And also, we must get rid of corruption. We must really uh, make uh, corruption enemy number one in our government. We believe that we need to elect ethical leaders first so they can fix the entire system because the system is rotten at the moment. Uh, but also, uh, we need to grow our economy because we can talk about uh, a high unemployment rate, but if we can't grow our economy, there is no way we can employ our uh, young people who are actually 80% of graduates are currently unemployed. We must mm -hmm. ensure that we create opportunities by looking at the issue of infrastructure, for example, but also the issue of crime in our province, uh, Maseho. We yeah. have lost 21 councillors just this year. We have lost 108 uh, officials. Every day, we are losing about 80 people uh, dying out of crime. We are saying we must really allow police, police to have enough resources to deal with the issue of crime. Mm. Mm. And when you look at the fact that there's, uh, you know, for instance, a moonshot pact and a... Uh, probably a likely uh, relationship rekindle uh, between the IFP and the ANC as uh, Prince Mangosutu Tellez used to wish. Uh, we don't know if that will happen, but if there is, uh, what do you think will make you survive? Look, first of all, as Action SA, we're on the ground. Mm. We are campaigning as Action SA. We're not campaigning on a ticket of any political party, but all we are saying is we are ready to work with any other political parties they are serious about fixing our country, but as long as we get rid of the ANC, that's our mission, because as Action SA, we are not campaigning to be in opposition benches. We are campaigning to be in government. That is why we believe that the moonshot pack, uh, a multi pack pack, will actually work, because end of the day, as parties, we agree uh, somehow that we need to fix our country. Let's put aside our differences in terms of ideology. ideology. Let's focus on what is needed in our country. We have to make sure that young people get jobs we have to ensure that people in rural areas get access to, to water we have to make sure that rural communities are actually empowered we attract investment in our rural areas so definitely as uh, as, as, as SA, we believe that in president for example we can able to form a strong government with the parties like da and ifp because end of the day there is no way we have to work with the anc but we are hoping as well that we can drop both ANC and eff below 50 percent because we know if ANC can have uh, EFF on their side, again, okay, we're not out of this problem we are facing as, 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 as a province. So we're hoping that we can able to both drop both parties below 50% so that we can govern this province and really mm. bring, bring back the glory of, 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 of this province. We know that this province can really uh, uh, do well under good leadership with ethics.
Mm. I always find it interesting when leaders say that uh, they would like to work, uh, for instance, for a party that they used to work for. Uh, you, are, or rather work with a party that they used to work for. You're saying that you are open, as Action SA, to form part of some coalition with the DA. But you were the chief whip of the DA in the KZN legislature. And, uh, you know, your resignation from there was not really rosy in that they even welcomed your resignation, etc. There were allegations about an international trip. So how are you going to work with with people who, for instance, you even had to resign from? Look, um, I think it's important to say, when mm. it comes to fixing our country, we must put aside differences. It's about the country now. It's not about Zouaké, it's not about Hemen, it's not about uh, the DA, it's not about the IFP. It's now about what is best for this country. The reality is, come next election, no political party would get 50 plus one. Now, the big question is, uh, you need to choose uh, which political party that you can able to agree on in terms of basic areas of service delivery. End of the day, as long as we can able to agree that we must provide for education for our people, we must ensure that we create jobs, we must ensure that we, 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 we fight corruption together, we fight crime, we, we deal with the issue of unemployment in our, in our province, we will be able to work with any party. So end of the day, it's not about making friendship, unfortunately, Masako now. It's about really what is best for our people in this province. We can't sit back and say, just because I have history with this one, so therefore, I can't work with them. Unfortunately, the reason why we are saying we can't work with the ANC is because they are the one who actually collapsed our country. ANC has became a criminal syndicate. So there's no way we can work with those criminals. So we must get rid of the ANC and ensure that like-minded parties, we might differ ideologically. For example, we differ with the DA in a lot of things. And with IFP also we differ on, on many areas. But at the end of the mm. day, we need to work towards fixing our province. Mm, I'm interested to know your opinion about something very quickly, Mr. Mwango. Uh, Rachid is a company that usually does data on services around the country. They went to KZN, and according to their data, they found that uh, uh, KZN uh, health, health uh, fraternity, rather, the entire public system has improved. It's proven to be a province with the friendliest staff. The waiting time uh, in terms of, uh, you know, the, the queues are shorter, etc. What's your, what's your thoughts around that? Look, I'm not sure about the research. Uh, mm. I will tell you about what's been on the ground. Fortunately, I've been legislature. Um, our healthcare system is collapsing. It's very strange if we can hear that the research says something opposite. But we're on the ground. We have different experience. Uh, for example, yesterday, I, I got a message from someone when a, a, a mother was giving birth to twins and one was struggling at, at the clinic. And then they tried to co call the uh, ambulance. They couldn't get help. After three hours, yeah. They called me. I had to call the head of department. Fortunately, he was able to get an ambulance after I called him. But you can't then just say there's a working system if okay. people are dying waiting for ambulances. So we have a challenge in our province in terms of healthcare system. I'm not sure how the research was done. But obviously, if you do a research in an urban area, person must also check where was the sampling size, where was the sample. Because mm. if you go to rural areas of KZN, people are struggling when it comes to healthcare system. All it has right. collapsed, actually. Yeah. All right, Mr. Mwango, all I can say is good luck for next year. You've got a couple of months uh, to campaign and convince the people of KZN. That is Zwagele Mwango. He is Action SA's head in KZN and is also its premier candidate as we go to the national government elections 2024.